YouTube has been host to a variety of bizarre creators. Let me remind you of one of its most peculiar. He's misunderstood. I just can't take it anymore. It's totally obvious that I'm not a girl, right? Made fun of. This is what I have to go through every day, and it's making me crazy. And potentially a comedic genius. I'm gonna f slaughter you, you little boy. He's Mr. Black Darkness 666. Back in 2016, Mr. Black Darkness 666 became infamous on YouTube thanks to a handful of videos where he complained about being ostracized from society for being a goth. Even my family hates me. An external force had a hand in making Mr. Black Darkness the clown of the hour. That force, of course, being the at the time king of YouTube commentary, Leafy is here. About a month ago, I made a video about this guy that made a vlog, and then he made a new video where he actually put a satanic curse on me. Oh God, Lucifer, hear my plea. It's easy to look at someone like Mr. Black Darkness 666 and instantly come to the conclusion that he was simply some ill-adjusted cringe lord, an easy internet punching bag and totally unself-aware. But as we take a closer look into this guy's YouTube history and listen carefully at what he's saying, I think you might come to the conclusion that I have, that Mr. Black Darkness was in fact a troll. Yeah, he knew exactly what he was doing all along. This is the story of Mr. Black Darkness, how he bamboozled the YouTube community and won in a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle with Leafy during the peak of his influence. Before we get started, I want to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is a VPN app that works across all of your devices, protecting your IP and data. While using Surfshark, your IP address will be hidden from potential advertisers, hackers, and your internet service provider. There's no reason these guys should know your internet browsing activity, so you gotta stay strapped up with Surfshark. And not only does Surfshark keep you anonymous online, it allows you to change your server location to practically anywhere in the world. Now, why is this useful? Well, there's a variety variety of applications for it, but a very common use for this is to bypass region-specific firewalls placed on streaming content. Let's say there's a movie on a streaming app, but it's only available in the United Kingdom. Well, if you live in the US like me, all you gotta do is change your server location and you just might be able to watch it. So what are you waiting for? You guys can get 83% off and 3 additional months free of Surfshark by clicking my link in the description box and using code WAVY at checkout. Big shout out to them for sponsoring, now let's get on to the Mr. Black Darkness store. Mr. Black Darkness 666, also known by the name Vlad Black, created his YouTube channel on October 12th of 2010. October 12th also happens to be International Moment of Frustration Day. And while definitely unintentional, Mr. Black Darkness's first video certainly fits the theme of this holiday. This is Vlad's first video. It's called Respect for Goths. Now in this video, he rants for nearly two minutes about how people have harassed him for being goth and how he feels ostracized from society for the way he looks and the stuff that he's interested in. He even goes as far as to wish death upon goth haters. All of you people seem not to understand us goth types. The whole goth scene is being discriminated. I just want it to change. For instance, when I walk into the street and people just call me names like goth, or even worse, emo, or when they think that I like to dress like a girl, or, or that I look like a girl, it's totally obvious that I'm not a girl, right? I'm a man, man. When Satan comes to Earth, he will rain fire on your souls, you asshole. I hope you all die, assholes. This movie is over. I'm turning it black. Now, first impressions are everything, and this was uh, quite the introduction. Vlad's rant, to put it lightly, was uh, a little bit unhinged. I'm a man, man. The initial knee-jerk response for many commenters was to make fun of Vlad for his ridiculous rant. On the flip side of things, there were some commenters that had a more intriguing take on this video. They felt that it was more performance art than genuine expression. You know, perhaps the guy was satirizing goth personality cliches. I mean, you gotta admit, the whole video just seemed melodramatic, like over the top even by doomer goth standards. When Satan comes to Earth, he will rain fire on your souls, you asshole. Mother it was impossible to know if Mr. Black Darkness 666 was satire with just one video. Commenters speculated, but ultimately folks would have to wait for the Dark Lord to return with more content. Well, fortunately, for those intrigued in this enigmatic Dark Lord of YouTube, 
They wouldn't have to wait long, as not even 24 hours after his rant, Vlad posted a follow-up video seemingly attempting to prove that he was actually bullied by people in the real world for being goth. His proof? Well, he shows this video of him walking by a playground and he gets heckled by the children at this park. Check it out. Today I'm gonna show you how retarded and like small-minded and discriminating this town really is. This is what I have to go through every day. Every day when I walk down the street and it's making me crazy. Stop it, stop it, stop talking to me like that. I'm a person, okay? This is my life and it sucks. It sucks even harder than when I'm sucking on this fucking cigarette. Shut the fuck up. I'm calling all gods for a war, a war against everyone who discriminates. This was my video and... <sighs> Loser! Shut up, damn it! Shut up, I'm doing my video! While it might be funny to imagine that Mr. Black Darkness 666 is this spiteful goth that's getting bullied by school children as he walks down the street every day, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to come to the conclusion that this video was probably staged and satirical. The setup and execution of it is all too perfect. The video has jump cuts. The kids are literally screaming the word gothic as Vlad passes. He appears to be holding back a smile when he passes the playground. Taught me like this, and it's making me crazy! He got a little pretty mouth, ain't he? And then of course the kid at the end that pops up out of nowhere and calls him a loser. This has to be staged. <sighs> loser! Shut up, damn it! Yeah, it's almost as if Vlad was playing a character and this whole thing was just a sketch. A planned video intended to be funny. While some did stick to the idea that Mr. Black Darkness was an unself-aware cringe lord, the comment section of this video reveals that a good portion of viewers began to catch on to the satire after this video was published, and they praised Vlad as a performance artist of sorts. After the video of him getting heckled as he walked past the playground, Mr. Black Darkness would continue to upload videos to this channel that played into the character of him being this oppressed doomer goth guy. Some of these videos feature Vlad's friend who shares an uncanny resemblance to the Hamburglar. Tell them what we're going to do to the world if they're not going to respect us. We're going to kill each and every one of you. We're going to kill each and every one of you. Slowly. Slowly. Painfully. And you all suffer. Suffer greatly. This movie is over. I'm turning it black. While most videos uploaded to Mr. Black Darkness's channel were more than likely satire, there did exist a handful of Marilyn Manson tribute videos, with Vlad actually going out of his way to make elaborate fan-made music videos in dedication to the artist. And with the Marilyn Manson stuff in mind and Mr. Black Darkness's appearance on camera, it's my opinion that Vlad wasn't just an irreverent comedian making fun of goth individuals. I think he genuinely was interested in goth lifestyle and culture and was a goth himself, but found enjoyment out of satirizing some of the more obnoxious and whiny members of his own community. He was very much self-aware Mr. Black Darkness was in this for the lulls. Never really reaching widespread fame, he uploaded content on a semi-regular basis until the summer of 2013, after which he seemingly vanished from YouTube without any explanation. Fans hoped he would return, but as the years passed, the odds of that happening seemed slim. That was until 2016 came around, and a certain reaction commentator with hundreds of thousands of subscribers would dig up the remains of Mr. Black Darkness's channel and basically resurrect him from the grave. That commentator was none other than Leafy is here. Now Leafy is really a YouTuber that needs no introduction, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyways for the uninformed. Leafy's here was an extremely popular and influential gameplay slash reaction commentator throughout 2015 and 2016. He essentially popularized the reaction commentary genre itself. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. He uploaded daily videos where he would share personal stories or react to some cringe video that he found on YouTube. What is up with these dudes that always feel the need to be like two inches away from their camera? The latter of these activities eventually made Leafy a controversial figure as some felt he was essentially bullying people for views and money. Leafy was one of, if not the fastest growing YouTube channels on the site, and he regularly pulled in over 1 million views per daily upload. 
He was an absolute juggernaut on the platform. And he's about to become the antagonist of this story, well, depending on how you look at it. Now with that out of the way, let's move into the juicy drama that was Leafy vs. Mr. Black Darkness. In January of 2016, Leafy had stumbled upon Mr. Black Darkness's nearly six-year-old video where he gets heckled by the children at the park. Taking the video at face value and seemingly ignoring any possibility of it being satire, Leafy would create a video reacting to and making fun of Mr. Black Darkness in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers, painting Vlad in the least charitable light possible and never mentioning that the whole thing could have been staged. This is where I live. I live up there where you can see the grapes here. Yeah, I know it's a dump. And I hate it here. <laughs> look, dude, I don't want to be an asshole. How are you gonna wear this shit, dude? Like, like, look, don't get me wrong. I'm far from normal, dude. I'm definitely way far from normal. I make YouTube videos, okay? But, dude, the eyeshadow with the long dyed hair straightened out, uh, the context. You see what I have to do with every day? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like on the verge of crying. Dude, dude, look, I get it. They shouldn't be making fun of him, but they're like 10 years old. Buddy, you gotta do something to change your life. I've grown up through a lot of way worse shit than this guy has, and I'm completely fine. Leafy's video about Mr. Black Darkness proved to be one of his most popular, and as with anybody he talks about, his fans ran into the comment section and started spamming hiss and other disparaging remarks towards Mr. Black Darkness. This sudden surge of negative attention was enough to wake Mr. Black Darkness from his inactive channel slumber. And after being targeted by Leafy, he would return for the first time in years, kicking off one of the most entertaining entertaining dramas in YouTube history. On January 21st, Mr. Black Darkness would upload his response to Leafy. In the video, he appears distraught and possibly drunk and explains that Leafy's video caused his girlfriend to leave him. Check this out. Some asshole on YouTube has used my video for the wrong purpose. He's been mocking me, saying degrading stuff about me, laughing at me in my face on YouTube. I had a girlfriend and she was really, everything was going fine. And then she also saw that video from that guy, that leafy guy. And she was like, you know what? There's, there's some truth to that video. Maybe it's time to, to grow up. And, and she just left me because of you, you fucking asshole. You just ruined my life like this. All those people commenting on my videos with hiss and whatever and hiss. I'm gonna slaughter you, you little boy. Whatever you do to others, it will hit you back three times as hard. You just wait and I'll, uh, you'll see. You'll all see. You'll all see. Now those familiar with Mr. Black Darkness's channel knew that this was Vlad essentially slipping back into that character to play it up for entertainment value, just as he did in those classic videos years ago. But Leafy and his legions of fans meeting Vlad for the first time, well, they were none the wiser that this was an act. They were genuinely under the impression that this guy was batshit insane. Now, Leafy, never one to pass up a good YouTube drama, would catch wind of Mr. Black Darkness's frustrations in the response. So Leafy made a video back, making fun of Vlad for freaking out and repeatedly stating that he didn't think that Mr. Black Darkness was satire. And I'm also just gonna get this out of the way right now. I know a few people are gonna be like, oh, this is bait, or oh, the video is satire, or he's trolling, guys, it's not a real video, he's just doing this for attention. And I mean, there's always a possibility for that, but I spent, I wanna say, at least one to two hours going through this guy's YouTube channel, and there's absolutely nothing that would hint that this video is satire whatsoever, so I honestly think it's completely legit. I really hope I didn't cause some, like, breakup, but his girlfriend liked my video? <laughs> what? I didn't mean for, like, anyone to break up with each other, but dude, I'm not gonna take the blame for your relationship not working out. And, and she just left me because of you. And there's absolutely nothing that would hint that this video is satire whatsoever, so I honestly think it's completely legit. And this shit may seem ridiculous to you guys, but I don't think this is a joke whatsoever, dude. This guy is probably literally casting some witchcraft bullshit on me right now, dude. While Leafy wasn't quite perceptive enough to realize that Mr. Black Darkness was a character, 
He was on point when he predicted that uh, he might get a curse cast on him. In one of the most bizarre YouTube response videos ever made, on January 27th, Mr. Black Darkness creates a YouTube video in which he performs a dark ritual of sorts, casting a curse of misfortune upon Leafy is Here, even going as far as stabbing a Leafy is Here themed voodoo doll in the heart with a knife and ripping off its head. Hello, you assholes. Today, I'm going to show you one of my dark rituals. You will need a, uh, a doll, like this one. You can make it yourself, and this is like the representation of uh, the person that's harming you. Now, usually these rituals are supposed to be uh, when there is a full moon, but also uh, naked. So now you have to grab the doll, hold it above the pentagram or Bethlehem. Oh God, Lucifer, hear my plea, as my will is to send misfortune. This is for all the crap you cost me. Fuck. Make none of his days bright. Curse his night and day full of might. No good nor light he will gain. Corpus edimus, sanguis bibrimus. Ave Satani! Ave Satani! Ave Satani! Ave! 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 Ave Satani! Ave! Ave Satani! Many people, including Leafy is here, saw Mr. Black Darkness's curse video as a death threat of sorts, which of course led to a little bit of controversy. Some might even say this was a drama alert situation. What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's... Seeing the building animosity between Leafy is here and Mr. Black Darkness, Keemstar, the host of Drama Alert, decided it would be productive to get both parties in a Skype call and hash out their differences. This led to a now iconic Drama Alert episode where the two attempt to resolve their differences with a Mr. Black Darkness completely in character, sobbing about all of the damages that Leafy had caused him, and Leafy just sitting back being befuddled the entire time at the by the man's insanity. He uploaded a video putting a spell on Leafy with a bunch of death threats, so we have them both here to talk this thing out. I made a video about it, and it was one of those things that um, a lot of reaction channels do. It's one of those things that's like 50... It's like 50% like parody and like for comedy, it's basically satire. Well, I don't know if it's like a parody if you just ruin someone's life with it. Is that funny to you? Is it, does it make you laugh that my girlfriend left me because you made that video and that now everyone just spams me with his constantly everywhere I go no, on the no internet? No, wait, Mr. Darkness, did your girlfriend really leave you just because of Leafy's video? Yes. See, dude, it, it's one of those things that, like, I'm not going to take responsibility that your relationship didn't work out because of a YouTube video, dude. No. Darkness, you, you're, you're saying that you want to kill Leafy. Do you really want to, to end Leafy's life? I wouldn't mind <laughs> seeing, bit, seeing him suffer for what he did. I mean, Look, he's, just, he's just being an asshole about it the whole time. Even in his last video, he just mocks me continuously. If you were to tone it down a bit, don't you think you'd find a little bit more acceptance in the world? No, no, because I had I had acceptance. I, I had a girlfriend and everything was going okay. I mean, I've already said what I thought about it. Again, like, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. And I said that in literally all three videos, right? Like, I don't actually, like, dislike you or anything like that, right? But at the same time, dude, I'm not going to take responsibility that your relationship didn't work out because I made a video about you, right? Again, I have no issue with him at all. Mr. Darkness? No, I would like an apology. Do you, do you want me to say it right now, or I'll say yeah. sorry, man? I'm sorry, Mr. Black Darkness 666. So, Mr. Darkness, do you still want him to die? No, no, I guess not. Okay. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, the death <laughs> spell has been turned off. Drum alert well, nation. No. I, I still have to, like, do the... the if I want the, the spell to end, I have to do the, the counter spell. <laughs> Yeah, it's a classic episode. And keep in mind that Mr. Black Darkness says that he would remove the curse, but it wasn't removed just yet because he hadn't done the counter spell. That will become important later.
After the drama alert episode, tensions between Mr. Black Darkness and Leafy is here eased up and the two maintained a cautionary acquaintanceship. The two would take pot shots at each other from time to time, but for the most part, the saga was over. That said, Vlad would keep the antics up for a while, like, like the time where Vlad created a puppet character to replace his girlfriend and gave the puppet a Leafy voice. This is Twiggy the Lizard. What's up, guys? Yeah, we've had some fun together. Or the video where he says that him and his girlfriend got back together and shows her on screen because the the drama was over with Leafy, I guess. Well, we've we've decided that that we would get together again and just be like as before as a couple. And uh, well, I really love you, Sarah. You know, so. I love you too. I'm glad we're back together. Yeah. Had to happen. Yeah. Eventually, Mr. Black Darkness would stop talking about Leafy and he converted his channel to a Let's Play and Vlog channel where he discussed a variety of topics mostly out of the Mr. Black Darkness character. He's actually a well-adjusted guy that's just in it for the comedy. Yes, Mr. Black Darkness duped the YouTube masses. He was a troll all along. He got Leafy. He got everybody. I could kiss his ass all day. But what about that curse, though? Mr. Black Darkness's curse has become somewhat of a meme for those invested in Leafy is Here lore. See, remember he said that he would lift the curse in the Drama Alert episode, but he never actually went through with it and did it. I, I still have to, like, do the... the if I want the, the spell to end, I have to do the... The counter spell. And interestingly enough, not too long after this curse was cast, Leafy was met with a series of unfortunate events that ultimately led to his downfall. In the summer of 2016, approximately six months after the spell was cast, Leafy became the subject of an iDubbbz content cop, which did demonstrable damage to his reputation in the commentary community. Today is the day we get to bully Leafy. In November of 2016, Leafy became embroiled in more controversy after a YouTuber known as Nick Cash alleged that he was underpaid for creating video assets for Leafy's channel. This resulted in additional damage to his reputation. And they see these intro animations that I make, and Leafy doesn't say one word about it. Doesn't say who made it, doesn't shout me out. In early 2017, as a result of the adpocalypse, a large majority of Leafy's videos were demonetized, and his videos began to become less visible in YouTube's algorithm resulting in a substantial loss in not only income, but views per video. In the summer of 2017, he had a dick pic that leaked on the internet. And not long after that, he pretty much quit YouTube from burnout and the fact that he wasn't getting paid for his videos. While it's obviously a ridiculous thought, one can't help but wonder how much Mr. Black Darkness's curse had to do with Leafy's downfall. This is for all the crap you cost me. After Leafy left YouTube in 2017, fans would constantly pester Mr. Black Darkness to remove Leafy's curse. You know, they thought perhaps maybe if it was lifted, he would come back and be able to succeed as a YouTuber again. Few people actually know this, but in the summer of 2019, Vlad actually performed the counterspell and removed Leafy's curse. I've noticed a recurring comment popping up. Can you guess what it's about? This asshole, of course. Mr. Black Darkness, can you please remove the curse from Leafy? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lift the curse from Leafy's here. The curse, you see that? That's the curse burning away. Now I need to stomp the fucking curse out of him. Yeah. There, the curse is lifted. Happy now? I hope you are because I'm not gonna do this shit again. And well, what do you know, about a year after Leafy's curse was removed in 2019, he came back in 2020 to YouTube and started making videos and was getting a good amount of views for these videos. Pokemon isn't even attractive. There's really no other way of saying it. She's just not hot, dude. She's just really not hot. The average person on Twitch is more attractive than Pokemon. <laughs> But then he got permanently banned for apparently making like four videos on Pokemon. And hey, that's not Mr. Black Darkness's fault. If you fuck with Pokemon, bad shit's gonna happen to you. I don't know what else to say. It seems like anyone who mentions her name gets banned from the platform or banned from Twitch. Hell, I might get nuked tomorrow for even mentioning her name. It's like she's Voldemort or something. So yes, the curse on Leafy is now lifted. The circle is complete. Hopefully uh, he gets some better luck his way. But that was the story of Mr. Black Darkness and his legendary interaction with Leafy is here. 
the Dark Lord of Satire himself still occasionally uploads to his channel, and he has a large backlog of content that I highly recommend you check out. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below in the comment section, and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. Slap like, ring that bell, and I'll see you guys next time. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.